Hello there. Today we're going to make jelly print papers in shades of pink. Let's get to it. So why pink? I'm planning a flamingo painting. This entire mosaic part here is going to be jelly print papers and we're going to need three shades of pink. The background will be painted and the green mon monstera leaf will also be with some green papers. So I'm just going to work, 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 make jelly prints, experiment with stamps and with masks and with stencils and we'll see what we come up with and then I will just talk over it. I'll speed it up a little bit. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I'll speed it up a little bit and then you see some of my thought process while I'm working. These are the colors I'll be working with today. Napful Red Medium, Primary Magenta, Alizarin Crimson, Violet Oxide, and Titanium White. I'll link them below in the description. I'm starting out by creating backgrounds in the different shades of pink. Some dark, some light. My second layers will have the texture. So you'll notice that sometimes when I'm pulling a print, I am rubbing an awful lot and I'm also uh, stopping sometimes to feel the coolness of the paper. If it still feels cool, you might want to wait a little bit. So I think I figured out that my combination of alizarin crimson and primary magenta is giving me the kind of pink that I need for a flamingo. It's a little bright and that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a dull pink. Hey guys, if you like these types of videos, smash that like button.
I'm starting to get a little lighter. I'm adding more white to get some lighter backgrounds. For my darker shades, I need a light texture on top. And for my lighter backgrounds, I will need to put a darker pink on top. Here I'm using a trivet to create texture. I love this pattern. With this deeper shade of magenta, I'm using a texture stamp to randomly add texture. And then I'm going to pull the print with one of the lighter background sheets. Oh wow, I really love the way that one came out. Okay, here I am using some stencils that I have on hand. I'm carefully pressing through all of the openings to make sure that my paper is pulling all the paint. I'm using a darker shade, so I'm not sure this one will work out for my flamingo. Now I'm pulling off the ghost print with one print that I already printed. It looks like a hot mess, but I think I can use that. So this is what I have so far. I recently purchased this catalyst wedge with the jagged edges and I thought I would try something different. Liking it so far.
I love it. Absolutely love it. I like the way that one turned out so much that I decided to do some more in a lighter, lighter shade. Okay, so now let's go back to some stencils. Again, I'm making sure I'm making good contact in all of the openings. Very pretty. Really like this one. To pull the ghost print, I'm going to layer some white paint on top. This will give me a really good ghost print. See all that detail? That's because I layered it with white paint. So we're going back to the stamps. I like these, these small stamps that I have because they have nice subtle textures that are small. My, my triangles on the flamingo are going to be kind of small, so I'm thinking that the smaller textures might actually work better. Have to make more background sheets. I didn't make enough. Thank you. 
So I'm going to try a light pink background with um, the stencils, and then I'm going to try to use the stamps inside those openings. See if that works. Not bad. Well, here we go. This is what I came up with. These are at least the ones that I like, that I think might be able to work. We have at least three different shades of pinks here. And I especially love the darker ones. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Experiment, experiment, experiment. When you're creating prints with jelly prints just experiment and have fun that's what it's all about having fun playing with paint and then you could do a project like the flamingo if you want to see how that flamingo turns out subscribe to my channel that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks and don't forget create inspire and share see you next time bye bye